All right, guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Um, I just got done filming this crazy ass fun look, which of course you guys will have already seen. This was my uh, review slash play around with the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. And you guys, I'm obsessed with myself right now. Like, you know how I feel like if you play with makeup at all, like I don't care what level you're at, you you reach a point where you're just like, I have to try this. Like whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And I reached that point today where I was like, I want to try something new. And I did it. And I was terrified that it was gonna look so dumb and I am so incredibly impressed with myself and how this whole thing turned out like I can't stop looking at it and I even threw on fake lashes as like a congratulatory like good job for being awesome and they look stunning like my eyes I don't think I've ever accomplished a look that okay I have I've done a couple really cool looks but this is the first time I've ever done like a deep soul tree like a mother effing fun pigment like what's up look and I am so obsessed with this look. Oh my god. So I just wanted to check in and talk to you guys for a second. Show you my face because you will have already seen it. But I am I plan on getting all the wear I can out of this face. So um, I don't know what we have going on today. Um, I know that we have something going on today. That was like the most unflattering angle. I'm like, I don't know. It's really cute. But I don't know what we have going on today. Um, but I'll definitely take you guys with us. I just want to say happy Saturday. I feel really like I started today. You know how some days you wake up. Even if you don't have like a lot, a lot to do. You feel just overwhelmed with like whatever happened yesterday or what's supposed to happen next week or whatever you know all these other like factors overwhelm you before you even function I started off with one of those days and then I was like okay you need to calm down then I got myself to a point where I could go film and I was like okay you need to like continue to calm down this eye look you just need to relax like if this is gonna you know you just need to because sometimes I'm not the biggest person that's like oh like everyone needs to relax I'm not one of those people I'm more of like a you know go get your shit done like it doesn't matter if you're stressed like you just go live your life and go but get shit done I'm one I'm a very like dream driven person and uh huh my lips are like getting kind of funky but um I'm one of those people so for me it's really hard to get into that headspace of like Paige you know you need to calm down you need to like stop letting all these other things that you can't control like get to you and you need to just like whoosh, like center back and you know chill the fuck out otherwise you're, you're gonna have a heart attack so and I don't want to have a heart attack because well I mean if I were to go to the hospital right now I mean I'm pretty pretty impressed with myself you know what I'm saying but my luck it'll be like middle of the night when I have like cream and like weird patches all over my face that I go to the freaking doctor like a oh, single party of one right here huh? I'll be all like drunk and ridiculous looking god forbid I go when I look good or well decent I mean this is a little avant-garde too like it's just so different I'm just so impressed with myself <laughs> like, and I know I probably shouldn't be because like I do YouTube and like you're supposed to have a level of confidence on there not me no no <laughs> I look like a what are those the little people from the Grinch the Grinch when he, <laughs> he makes his mouth all pointy <laughs> there's a look for you so Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> finish taking 400 selfies and then I'll, we'll see where the day takes us, guys. But I, hopefully it takes us somewhere good because I'm really hungry. Okay, guys, so I wanted to try and show you my outfit. I changed because I felt like I needed to. These are uneven, gonna drive me nuts. But anyways, I put on, I love this. This is one of my favorite scarves. I was going for like, I wanted to kind of pull that really fun green, like through the vest, but still have like the rest of it be like black and like sultry and chic. And I don't think I can back up enough. So hold on, let me reposition the camera. It looks like I'm trying to show you my crotch. But look at, I'm wearing my really tall shit kicker boots. And I feel like everything just like comes together so perfectly. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I just love, I just love like this upper part right here kind of obsessed right like it looks perfect and I feel like it totally matches my vibes and then I got on these giant freaking adorable like octagon hooves I don't even know if, I didn't count the sides I don't know if it's an octagon or not but pretty much in love with it so and what is it I think it's Khloe Kardashian that says the bigger the bigger the hoop the bigger the hoe or something and I'm over here like <laughs> mono like a seven inch span but I love them so much they're so cute okay we gotta go now because everybody's waiting for me and I've spent the last 15 minutes trying to find a good way to show you that and it still didn't go that well so <laughs> don't even have a good excuse but I'll catch you guys soon because I'm in trouble Okay, and side note, you guys, um, I had to show you, this is the saddest day of my life. Do you see how much is not in this bottle? This is, I think this is Clinique Happy. I think that that's what that says. It smells, it's like orange. It's got like the tiniest bit of orange writing right there. Like I, I think, I'm, it says PPY, so I'm assuming that that's happy. But this perfume, one of my favorites. Like I love it so much. I, It's one of my favorite summer scents. It's, it, like I don't know what I wore before I had this. I mean, I have... <laughs> 
clearly I have perfume and that's not quite all of it but I love this so much I said to show you guys because it's like oh my god why is it out like when I ran out of my Dolce & Gabbana I was like what am I gonna do well I replaced it with Prada Dolce & Gabbana Rosé like I, I replaced it but seriously I can when I hit the end of this you better believe there will be a fresh one waiting for me at Ulta because I freaking love this so much and I just had to share that with you because I'm wearing it today because the weather outside is garbage and I needed something to make me happy so time to go do life now for real this time I saw the judgment on your face no judgment this is my mama. What do you think, mom? Are you just adorable? No. Yes. Do you, do, what, am I adorable? You're adorable. What do you think of my earrings? I love your earrings. For real? Do you? Yeah. For real? Mm-hmm. Khloe Kardashian says, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe. Okay. <laughs> Her face was like, mm-hmm. I know you love the Kardashians, mom. It's okay. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. My mom tries to be so nice to everybody, even when she pretty much overtly disagrees. But it's time to go now for real. God, this lighting's not so bad. Okay. I was trying to show him a picture of my outfit, and it didn't go so well. But I think I got it pretty close. Close enough. All right, you guys. Let's go actually do life for real this time. Quit distracting me. Hmm? All right, guys. So we just got back. Ouch. From our errands. I have such a headache. I'm so... Oh, my God. I can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. Anyways, sorry. We just got back, and... I'm in the car. I'm having one of those minutes where, like, I'm so... Wow, I have butthole lip. Big time. Wonder how long I've been walking around with that. Huh. Anyways. Um, I ate, and I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I will say, though, though, for eating and drinking, that's not too bad there, Smashbox Lipstick. Okay. Sidetracked. Anyways, so... I get frustrated because, like... I'm not... I don't like to complain about like having issues and like being sick a lot because I feel like there are so many people that are like more sick than me and whatnot and sorry my hair it's like it's like tickling on the back of my head but then like I pull it forward and it looks I look like a sheepdog sorry so anyways I don't ever mind like being sick and stuff like I'm pretty well acclimated to it at this point but I get frustrated sometimes when like it's gonna sound so dumb when it's like it's like little things that irritate me like uh like going out for food or like getting food like my, even my favorite food like mom will cook me something and like it's one of my favorite things to eat or whatever it is and like I love it I enjoy it and then like as a result of eating like my favorite thing I'm sick for hours like we we had barely left and I I got a salad and it's like my favorite salad ever and um I literally like from the moment I like got like halfway through it I was like oh okay this is settling okay and then when I finished it I was just like nope never mind like nauseous constantly and I it sucks because like it ruins it like it ruins my favorite foods and it ruins just that whole and it just annoys me and I try really hard to like always be super positive and like not be a total d-bag about it because like you know I always try to put it in perspective like there's always someone that has it way worse and it's like like those swatches by the way those are eyeliner swatches mm -hmm. uh, sorry <laughs> I just saw them there like they've been there all morning they have not went away <laughs> like I've washed my hands a hundred times I literally took a makeup wipe to them they're still there hanging out I'm like okay whatever um but anyways there, there'll be a video on that coming soon but i don't know i try really hard to not like bitch about it because again i'm always like people have it worse like it's it's fine like you just need to buck up with it but it always sucks because like i get i like it's to the point now where i'm actually like eating makes me nervous and like i'm a fat kid in my soul like i don't want to be nervous to eat and like anytime i eat i never know like am i gonna be sick how sick am i gonna be like I, for me to go out with friends and even eat now like it started off where like I couldn't go out with them and drink because I don't drink but like oh I could go out for dinner like that was fine and it's to the point now where like my friends will invite me over for dinner or like they'll invite me to go out with them like for food at a restaurant and like I, I don't want to go because I don't know if I'm gonna be sick how sick am I gonna be where's the nearest bathroom like how long will I be sick oh my god I need to go lay down is this gonna trigger like one of my migraine episodes and it's to the point where like now anytime I eat it's like my favorite food and whatever it is and it's like even that is tarnished now what 90s ass butthole lip and brown situation do I have going on this is not cute um okay so I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit <laughs> good start to oh wait no this isn't a new vlog oh my god you guys I'm so tired <laughs> this is not the start to the vlog this is just the start of the week this is Monday this is what Monday brain feels like and you guys I tried a different foundation combination today 
and my skin looks like an actual bag of dicks just all up on the face so not looking good today I'm not gonna lie like I did my skin and I'm just oh god but I reviewed a bunch of stuff today obviously you will have seen it by the time this goes up um what did I review today the new natural eyes and natural face collection from Too Faced it came out like three weeks ago but you'll see all the tea in that video or you already have at this point but yeah my skin does not look good so we're gonna go tackle the day looking looking like this, which I think in this light it doesn't look bad, but I'm pretty sure in real life it does. I don't know, my brows look pretty good though. Damn. Look at those almost sister twin brows. Look at that. Look, they're almost the same thickness and shit. I tell you what, one of these days I might know how to do me some brows. <laughs> okay, so for real, I have to go. Something just came on. Guys, I swear to God, like the creepiest clown music just came on behind me. Like, I don't want to go look because I'm nervous, but there's like creepy ass clown. Like, I just heard like you're at a circus. Like, what is this noise? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, I have to go though because there's the world happening on all around me. I'm just wearing my big old fun looking hoopies, which I love, and um, this cute little fun shirt. Cute little nothing, nothing too exciting really. My world's not that exciting, you guys. Um, one of my one of the one of the guys yesterday fixed or to this morning they fixed my car because uh we got home oh by the way yeah yesterday was easter hope you guys had a good easter i didn't vlog at all yesterday because when we got there i was just like hanging out with people and like seeing you know the the what are they family that's what they are and uh, i was hanging out with them and i literally didn't even think about it got home because we did like a really early like lunch dinner-esque thing and then we got back and um i literally took my makeup off and my mom and i sat and uh watched heart of dixie which is on netflix it's like one of those really stupid but great at the same time shows um it had one of the lead characters in it from uh oh, what is that oh come on the one with the ocean and the homeless guy come on Paige, get your life together the the oc there we go who and one of the one of the leading girls and it had summer from the oc if you've watched that and uh, which of course i have i've seen it through twice um <clears throat> because as an adult i'm seven i've learned that when i read books or watch shows i like them to be the kind of show or book where it's like young adult like the oc gossip girl anything like that like gilmore girls all that my jam when i read books out of the young adult fiction i'm like the fault in our stars or love simon or anything like that that's just totally my thing and i think it's because like my brain it like physically needs a break after like my day and just everything I always have going on and I think that that's why it's so refreshing for me always so anyways we we're watching Heart of Dixie which of course I've seen through twice my mom had never seen it so I was like oh, let's, let's play that so we were watching that yesterday we're almost done with it though so I think I'm just gonna like pick another show for her to love and be obsessed with I'm really trying to get her to watch This Is Us because I, I know my mother. She would love it. And she's like, I know that that show is sad as hell. I am not watching no show that is sad as hell. And I'm like, but it's so good. It's like the best kind. I even told her, I'm like, mom, what I love about that show, if I had to sum it up for you, is that a show, it's a show that has every element. It has laughter. It has fun. It has family. It has everything. But at the same time, it doesn't necessarily like teach me things. I feel like all the morals that they've taught, I know. But the way that it makes me feel, I have a hard time like feeling things. I'm a very like black, white, cut, dry, don't like to cry. Like I'm, I'm very business. I'm very like, you know, go to the next, next, next kind of person. So I have a hard time like slowing down and really feeling things when they happen. And so it's just, and I've always been like this. Like I've been called heartless, <laughs> heartless bitch on more than one occasion because like someone dies and I'm like oh that's sad like I'm sorry but I don't cry um with the tumor though sometimes you don't know because sometimes there's like that one in a hundred shot where I could be like <laughs> and it, like Paige what are you crying over I dropped a fry like it can it can get real dramatic real quick but as far as like real emotions and stuff what I love about that show is I feel like it through that show I have gotten to it almost brings me to a place where because I'm not attached to the people or to the storyline or to the you know the characters I get to feel those emotions without being myself tied to them it's hard to explain but I just I love that show so much and I feel like it represents every demographic it represents like literally everything that you could want in a show like that 
and I, I just love the way that they address things with such ease but also like they take it seriously you can tell that the writers take it seriously but that they don't want it to be the sole like the sole purpose for the show I don't know I have a lot of respect for that show I think they've done such a great job and as like a plus size girl myself I love their casting choices because that bitch is so good I love her so much <laughs> I love the sister I love them all though like who are we kidding okay for real I'm creepy now and every time I stand here, I like look out the window and people think I'm so creepy because I have my hand, like there's a camera and it sits on top of like a little mini like handheld tripod. So it literally looks like I'm either like, you know, scoping the the, the people as they drive by or it looks like I'm sitting here like, and, and it's funny because only certain people catch it. Like you can, because I'm in a window like up, up above everybody else, like on a second floor. So you can tell, you can just tell when people drive by and they're just like, like, who's that bitch? What's she doing out there? And it's like, just me. Doing me. Anyway, so that's what we did yesterday. I know it wasn't that exciting. That's why I didn't vlog anything. Plus, I was just hanging out with my mom and, like, intermittently maybe I napped once or twice because a girl gets tired, you know? Like, it's a lot of stress. You gotta, like, get up. You gotta look pretty. You gotta care about your life. I wore a really cute dress that I have no pictures of me in. I sucked yesterday. <laughs> like, um, what do you do, Paige? Well, I really, like, heavily uh, influenced myself because I've nominated myself for Social Media Queen. Um, really? What were you wearing on Easter? Mm, I don't know. Bitch, you suck. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my life, the day, the whatever, and we'll see what it holds. But until then, okay, so if I hold this far away, I guess I don't look too bad. Oh, God, you guys. I will uh, talk to you guys here in a little bit, and uh, we'll see what's the happening zone. What's going on? What's happening? What is the toodly doots in the teedly winks? I don't know. I got, I got nothing. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. So I just got done filming uh, this whole face as a uh, get ready with me, which you will have already seen if I decide to put it up because it was an actual disaster. I am rocking. You can't hardly see it. But yeah, that's right. This girl, she rocking a top not today to save her life. Like, let's just turn the camera. Oh, girl. Hello. <laughs> like, I'm one of those. I'm, I'm who you fight in today because I got the top knot and it is top notch. <laughs> see what I did there? So, Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go throughout the day. I'm one of those people, too, that, like, I hardly... Oh, there's somebody staring at me. I hardly ever... I'm like, they were, like, waving, but I don't know if they were waving at me, so instead I just, like, turned. I'm like, I'm not looking at you. But anyways, let's just move away from the window. So, um, there you go. How cute is that? I don't know. I never let myself go, like, the top knot route because I always feel like it looks stupid. But I actually really like it. Like, I don't know. And I made sure to, like, let me see if I can get you in better lighting because I actually put a little bit of work into my top knot today. Like, let me see, okay, there's a white background. And like, can you see? I actually like kind of tried, like I pinned it and I made it look all like cute and little bun-like, I don't know, I like it. I don't know what it looks like in the back. I probably don't wanna know, it probably looks nasty in the back. It's probably not good. Oh well, looks good enough for me. I don't care, cause I don't look at the back. <laughs> I still need to get a light cover for that, right? Right, wait, 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 wait for it. Right there. Still need to get a light cover for that. Oh well. So, you guys, I am going to go do my day. I just wanted to tell you how funny I think it is. Oh, is that my U My YouTube is still running. You guys, this is the face of a tiny little girl who's so upset because her mama isn't here. Her mama went to go spend the night with her friend. Oh no. Let's just get real close, poop. Just a baby poop. Oh, we love you, sister. Yeah, we love you so much, baby. All right, guys. So, you're in my bathroom because I wanted us to chit-chat here for a second. Um, I'm going to be, like, washing my hair tonight and all that good stuff. But before I went in and did all that, I wanted to chat with you guys for a second because I'm trying a couple new face products that I'm kind of low-key, not low-key, excited about. Um, as you know, Ulta has been having their 21 Days of Beauty or whatever, where all this stuff that, like, is unaffordable for most of us is finally slightly affordable, which is great. I'm so excited because they put a bunch of their uh, Shishido, that's how I, Shishido, Shishido, I've always said Shishido, 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 and anyways, they put a bunch of it on sale, it was half off, and I'm, so, or not half, was it half, or three quarters, I don't know, it was on sale, and I was so excited, because this stuff has had the best ratings for the longest freaking time, and I wanted to try it for so long, so anyways, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about it because I am tonight for the first time I'm going to be testing out this which I'll get to in a second but last night and now tonight I'm going to be trying the um, Shiseido Jinza Toko, to Tokyo Tokyo 
Ginza Tokyo. That's probably like a name and I just can't read. Essential Energy Moisturizing Gel Cream. And what I love about this is that it really is a gel cream. And I want to show you guys the consistency. By the way, you don't get, like, this is a tiny little container. Um, I feel like it's not a lot. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, it's like 1.7 ounces. So it's like not even the equivalent of two foundations. And um, it's like $48. So like $50 for this container. One of them is like 40 or 44 and the other is 48 normally something like that so they're not cheap but if you look at it it is an actual like hydrogel very similar in the sense that the um actually here i can grab it real quick very similar to how the uh, l'oreal hydrogenius is also a hydrogel come on focus you have one job come on you know you want to focus no you don't okay cool this stuff right here and you guys I have been using this L'Oreal Hydrogenius on and off this is actually my second bottle anytime something runs out or my face gets really upset or whatever I switch back to this in between other moisturizers I really really like this it's not like oh my god why am I always so out of focus it's not like my oh my god I'm obsessed with it I think for the drugstore this is the way to go if you have oily skin and you're looking for a moisturizer because it is so so good i love it but i'm always again i always try out new stuff i like to see you know how one compares to the other so far <clears throat> anything on the drugstore that i've tried does not compare to this i recommend this for everyone and what i love about this line by l'oreal is that they actually offer um there's an, this one for oily skin they have um, one for dry skin one for extra dry skin they might have one for normal i'm not sure but they offer this in like two three or four different like flavors or you know types and it's just so good like affordability is there um i've gotten mine from amazon actually and had coupons for it which made it even more affordable so anyways this is a hydrogen gel and it's the same kind of uh, uh, consistency or viscosity if you will as this one so if you're looking for something to like compare it to this is very similar again in viscosity to that now it smells literally dreamy like oh my god it smells so clean and fresh like that's the only thing I can think to describe it the packaging is plastic which I'm not like you know I, I don't know I'm not a big fan of like plastic packaging because I feel like I paid for more than that but like does it hinder the product no I guess not I would much rather like if I had to choose Paige would you rather have a glass bottle foundation or a glass bottle this I would choose foundation you know I like that to feel a little bit more bougie than this so anyways I've been trying this out I only use it at night after I cleanse my face which I'll be doing here in a second but I just wanted to talk to you guys about it first um so I as of lately I have not changed um from my Innisfree yet a ton of you guys actually in the comments of one of my videos before said that you have been using this and loving it which is awesome because it's so good it leaves my face feeling so clean it has done wonders for my acne my pores everything like this soap if, if there's one thing I would say in like the last year that has totally rocked my world in like such a good way, it would be this soap. I love it so much. It's like $12 on Amazon. Like you cannot go wrong with this soap. But anyways, I go in, I clean my face with that at night and I've been putting this on. I did it last night. I'll do it tonight. I just started using it. So I'll definitely keep you guys up to date on if I like it or not. So there's that. And then tonight, I really, really want to try this. This is, where's the box for this? This is the Total Recharge ibuki beauty sleeping mask also by shiseido this is the box i don't know how well it's gonna focus because again it's got that shiny ass packaging on it but it's this guy right here and i'm so excited to try it you guys yeah let me just like refocus myself because it looks so weird it looks like jelly inside the container come on like look at doesn't that look kind of funny maybe it's just me but i'm like i'm stupid excited to try this out and it's an overnight mask and i like i cracked it just a little bit so i could smell it on the inside but like look at that consistency doesn't that look it looks almost like a weird like jelly version of tapioca pudding in the container i don't know i'm so excited though and this actually goes let me just refocus myself again um it's the lighting i think on all these packages plus like the sun's going down so everything looks funny but um this is also like i said it's like 48 bucks for this mask but essentially it says on here 
Um, it's an overnight leave-on gel mask that contains condensed vitamins, vitamin capsules, leaving your skin looking and feeling fully refreshed. Spread it on the skin before sleep so it stays on for long hours. Skin will look radiant, dewy, and well-rested, even after a night of inadequate sleep. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take off all my makeup. I'm going to get ready, a lot more ready for bed than this, but I wanted to do this part while there was lots of light. And I'm going to come back on here right before bed, and I want to put that uh, mask, the overnight mask on, while I'm on camera with you guys so that way we can do that part so I will be uh, back here as soon as like all of this is off what happened here oh the dog scratched me anyways I'll be back you guys because it's time to take all this makeup off my face oh queen actually this makeup held up pretty damn good I mean, this has been on for like almost 12 hours and I'm getting blasted with like natural light right now that looks really smooth for that long. Like, look at everything. This was, and you guys already saw this in the Get Ready With Me, I think, as long as I posted it, like, and actually got it up on time. <laughs> got it up. That's what she said. But um, this was a mixture of the Hourglass Foundation Stick and the Dior 24-Hour Foundation, like a little bit of that for coverage. Um, it's very oily. Like, I need to prime with something a little more oil-controlling next time. But, wow, that looks beautiful. Damn. Okay. I'll be back, you guys. All right, guys. So it is later on. Um, my face is all washed. And yes, my face does get really red when I wash it. So pay no attention. But I'm super excited because it is time for the Beauty Sleeping Mask. And I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so I wanted to apply it with you guys on camera. Kind of give you my, like, first impressions, my thoughtitudes, And just kind of see what we think. Ooh, girl. Girl. Ooh. You guys, like, I don't want to, like, dump it out, obviously, but, like, hold on. I want to see if it'll pick up that texture. It looks like jelly tapioca pudding. Like, it's so weird. Ugh, I don't know. It literally has the weirdest feeling. But anyways, that, that does not matter. Let's go ahead. And it said to basically, like, apply a generous layer. Um, oh, God. Uh-oh. Come on, camera. Now is not the time to not focus jerk all right so i'm basically okay it has like these weird little beads in it you can feel that's so weird now i'm not I, by the way i'm scraping off the the lid if you're like what is she doing because this stuff is not cheap and i'm not about ready to like waste it okay <laughs> i'm kidding but seriously i'm not wasting it because it's not it's expensive so and i just i don't waste things anyways because let's face it i have to pay for them so i have like a nice thin layer i should have used a mirror that would have been a good idea okay so you guys this is gonna go on obviously all night and i am really intrigued i did like a nice thin layer because i don't want to like you know wreck everything in my room i am gonna throw a towel over my pillow tonight just to like make sure i don't like fall asleep too fast and then like you know wipe it all off onto my pillowcases but as of right now it feels really comfortable it smells good it's a very light scent so it's not super overpowering um and as you guys know i'm prone to migraines so like if a girl was gonna tell you some tea it would be me uh look at me rhyming um but anyways it feels really good it feels nice it's sitting very lightly on the skin it doesn't feel overwhelming it doesn't feel like it's drowning my skin um and in the description on the box it says that there's like nutrient capsules or whatever that like open up and go into your skin and i think that that's what those little like white little like pieces were i think that that's what they're talking about oh it oh it's like that really nice cooling sensation where if you fan your face it's so cooling you guys if you were to do this in the summer like if it was like 95 degrees and you were to put this mask on and then fan your face oh it would feel like so good okay anyways I'm done. I just went ahead and I also, side note, took my Halo vitamins. These are the new vitamins that um, Tati or Glam Life Guru put out. And she put them out probably about a month ago now. And my mom and I have been taking them and there will be a full video with before and after pictures coming for that. Because you know that a girl has all the tea. I, we've taken um, some before and some after pictures. I mean, not like before, we're not quite to the after, but. Um, and I've been taking a ton of notes like throughout the process and yeah so we're both we're gonna have that video too so if you're curious about that stay tuned because that is coming I don't know when we're gonna film it it'll we'll probably film it this weekend or next weekend I'm not sure it depends on like when our schedules line up and we both have the time to do it but I do want to film that for you guys so because I actually had a lot of you people that were curious a lot of you people <laughs> like a lot of you people that sounds nice um, but anyways I'm gonna go to bed with all of this on my face you guys it actually feels like it's already soaking in 
weird. Like, and what I love about this mask actually was that there's a lot of people, and I've gotten asked this before in real life, people will ask me, um, like with an overnight mask, like how do you know you're not supposed to rub it in? How do you know you're not supposed to do whatever? And I think the difference is you can tell in like a good quality mask because they don't go in or soak into the skin with rubbing. Like if you take, here, actually, I need lotion on my hands. So I'm just gonna take, this is the Josie Marin uh, body butter, by the way. <gasps> Amaze balls, but anyways, I'm gonna take you just some of this is lotion, right? Like it's lotion and you can feel when you rub lotion into your hands The almost intention of it is to immediately absorb into the skin. It's created in like small I don't even know how to say it, but like in such a way that it draws through your epidermis It's, it's meant to draw through a strainer kind of like how pasta Intentionally does not fit through a strainer because you don't want the pasta to fall through that would defeat the point of a strainer think of it in that sense an overnight sleeping mask is not meant to fall through your pores it is not meant to fall through the the, the holes in your dermis layer your epidermis which is your skin it's not meant to go through those holes however a lotion like this is designed to do that so it falls right through and it, and it soaks in immediately and that's why because it's literally designed to just go through the holes in your dermis and immediately give you that gratification Whereas this overnight mask is not meant to do that. It is meant to soak in over a period of time and really meld in and, and, and yeah, oh God, I'm so excited. I just, I want my skin to, I love the idea when you're oily skinned, like you're never given the opportunity to like get that dewy, beautiful skin unless you create it. And then at the time it's a disaster. So I'm really excited to try this and like, see if I like it, see if my face likes it. And I really hope it does because it's really high end. And I mean, I got it on sale, which makes me feel really good about myself. You guys, I put some of that body butter like right here yesterday. Girl has got a smooth decolletage. <laughs> Side note, am I the only one that thinks the word decolletage sounds dirty? Like you rub it on your decolletage, <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that sound dirty? No, it's just me? Okay. But anyways, I'm gonna go to bed because <laughs> clearly I'm exhausted and I'm gonna check in with you guys in the morning. We will talk bright and early about all of this, all the happenings, the who's been, the what's, the how's, the who, and um, we'll talk about the mask and if I liked it or not. Uh, so stay tuned, you guys. And I'm so excited because I love masks. <laughs> Okay, so good morning, first of all. I know, I look so good. Um, but anyways, I got up, and where I get up, it's it's real early. So, but I wanted to come on here real quick. Oh, God, I wish that there was a way that I could, like, give you better light. But it's still dark outside because I wake up at the ass crack of dawn. Um, but anyways, I took that mask off, first thing. And um, my skin looks like plumper um i'm not gonna say like it was like revolutionary or anything but i do agree that my face looks plumper i have like little cat hairs and like weird stuff all over my face i've been up for a while so this this should not be happening and yet i'm covered in cat hair but anyways um so yeah i think it definitely did do a little something i think it filled out my skin like it made it look very enriched. I'll know more here when I go and wash it and put my makeup on and I'll see if that made a difference. But the other thing I wanted to come on camera for is this right here. And again, the lighting is just atrocious and I'm sorry about that. Um, but you can see this brow looks darker and like more put together than this brow. And you guys, that is the Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is their new um, brow volumizing fiber gel. Um, I just used this in a recent video, but I wanted to give you guys like a before and after of what it really does to the brow. Like if you're like a no makeup makeup person, no makeup makeup day, um, it really does. This is, I believe, in the shade medium. It doesn't say on the container. Oh, no, that's a number three. That's just like what step it is. I don't know. I think this is in medium brown. But it just gives like this beautiful, like it kind of grabs onto the hairs, fills them in a little bit. And I'm going to obviously go like wash my face and stuff. But I wanted to try it for you guys and show you that. Because honestly, if you're like, again, a no makeup makeup person, or say you just have like blonde brows. Like I know a lot of people that have like, they're brunettes, but they're born with like brown, brown, oh my god blonde brows like even a lot of mine are blonde that's why they look like they don't exist through here like through the upper arch um so this kind of goes in and it tints them the color as well as kind of has like little fibers that make them look longer so i don't know for again no makeup makeup days you're going out maybe like a cc cream and some of this if brows are like a thing for you um that you struggle with this is actually kind of awesome like i would totally use this and I think it did a really nice job. Like, it doesn't get weird or muddy. And it, like, dries down nice. Like, it didn't come off. I don't know. I like it. I'm a fan. And, like, I mean, that makes a big difference, right? 
that's kind of awesome okay i just wanted to show you guys that i'll see you guys after i have all my makeup on and uh, we're gonna see what this friday has in store the cat just woke up apparently she was very exhausted from her night of uh traipsing around on my bladder so that's cute but anyways i will talk to you guys here in a little bit i just wanted to show you that and talk about the mask but we shall see uh, what I think once my makeup goes on. For me, a lot of times, any product that I use, I judge it once my makeup is on because that's just the way my skin is. Like right now, it'll always look pretty similar, but how is my makeup going on? How did it apply? Does my skin feel more moist? Did everything, you know, go on evenly? Did I feel like it took away, like, dry patches? Anything like that, that's when I am really able to judge it. Um, I do feel like overall, though, my skin does feel very hydrated when I woke up this morning, which is huge, especially, like, through here. It just feels nice and, like, plump and moisturized. Um, so that's cool. A lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I have, like, oily skin, like, right around here. And I feel like this morning I woke up and it just had, like, a really nice rejuvenated feel to it. So, anyways, I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit and we shall talk. But until then, hello, brow Jill. Like, I'm just low-key so impressed. Like, sparse little crap hairs that, like, don't hardly even exist. And then, like, more put-together brow. Hello, brow. Hello, n more natural, not so crazy block square weirdness. Yes, yes. Well, happy Friday, you guys. Oh, that is blinding in this light. Okay, so I, oh my God, that looks amazing. Okay, so anyway, sorry. I just got done filming the, that looks really bright in here. I'm like getting blasted with direct light right now. That's why it's like popping in all these areas. But maybe if I turn, oh, a low highlight. Um, anyways, you guys. Happy Friday, finally. I am having one hell of a Friday because I just broke my Park Avenue Princess palette while I was filming this. Joyful. But you guys, I reviewed the new um, Dominique Cosmetics palette that is available at Sephora and um, literally died and gagged over it. I am so excited for you guys to see this because um, I think you might actually have a heart attack yourselves. I'm, I'm obsessed. Um, now that I have all my foundation and stuff on, you guys, my skin looks beautiful. So I can't say for sure if it's the mask or not, but I will say that like literally everything applied so stunningly to my face. This lighting makes always makes this cheek look funny without fail. Like this side of my face will look stunning, but then it casts some ugly effing friggin' shadow right here and I look like a dink. Maybe it's the, I think it might be the red bed sheets too. That probably doesn't help. That's a little bit better. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the 15th time and I will check in with you guys after a little while. We will talk. We will see what's going on. Um, we almost had manageable brows. Like look at how good this brow always turns out and then how like almost like on the verge of white trash this brow turns out. <laughs> it's like oh cute. Like yes. Yes sister brow. And then it's like here's my ugly sister Helga. <laughs> like all right, guys. Well, it is the end of the day, and I am thoroughly exhausted. I just had to check my eyeshadow. Um, I'm exhausted. I am ready for bed. It has been a hell of a busy Friday. And I just wanted to mainly come on here and uh, tell you guys goodnight and uh, just sign off because I feel like, A, I always forget. And B, here's like a fuzzle on my camera, and it looks like there's a dot in the middle of my forehead. And I was like, what the hell is that? But it's just a fuzz on the camera, hopefully. So, Anyways, you guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this weekly vlog of nothing. <sighs> That's driving me nuts. Okay, much better. And, um, yeah, I just hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. I know that the vlogs are very, like, some people love them, some people hate them. So, I just hope that whoever you are, that you love them as much as you love me. What is that? Acne? Probably. This foundation didn't, wasn't an awful wear, but it wasn't like the best eyeliner. So I'm excited. My foundation's been on for like <sighs> over 12 hours, so I'm definitely ready to take it off and be done for the day. And I mean, plus these brows were a little intense today. I mean, they weren't bad. That This brow was good. This brow, not so much. Anywho, you guys, um, have a great uh, week, and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye, guys.